Alright, this is a quick video for Thai eVape on how to do micro coils on an IGO L. Uh, hopefully, this will answer some of the questions that people have been asking. So, I have the IGO L base here, I have the top cap here, I've got some drill bits, a torch, screwdriver for the IGO. Uh, some tweezers so I don't burn myself when I'm torching everything. Some cotton here, just a boiled cotton ball, a little piece of cotton there, some clippers, and 28 gauge candle. So, first thing I'm going to cut myself off a little piece of candle. Uh, not really worried how much. a 330 seconds drill bit All right. now hopefully you can see this I'll try to get a little closer All right. I'm just going to start with an overhand wrap First wrap doesn't matter, we're going to back that out, and I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wraps. And as I said, I'm going to back that first one out. Because that one's usually not very pretty. So let me see if I can show you. Get up real close there and show you. I'm going to have to switch to manual focus here. Alright, there we go. As you can see there, one, two, three, four, five, eight wraps. All right, an eight, seven wrap coil. Switch back to autofocus. All right, so I pull it off the drill bit. Hopefully, this will stay in focus for the rest of it. I'm going to pinch it with the tweezers. Torch it till it glow, glows bright. Alright. And then you hold it in the tweezers until it cools down. That's what's going to keep all the coils nice and tight. Alright. Once I let go, I switch back to manual focus and should be able to see. Eh, I'll torch it again. Looks like the end's coming off a little bit there. So that's our coil. I'm going to stick it back on the drill bit. Take the old coil out of my 
way that I go. And uh, if I'm too lazy to uh, go wash it off, what I'll usually do is just put some heat on those screw posts, get rid of any e-liquid that was in there. Now, what I'm going to do, hopefully you can see this, is use my drill bit to place the coil where I want it to sit. I want it to sit right about there, and as you can see, I am pulling tight the legs of that coil, so it'll kind of just stay there by itself. And this one it'll, will be easy. I'm tightening around the left side of the screw. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm out of camera there. I'm going around the left side of the screw, so as I screw it down, it will tighten the leg. Let's see if I can move this camera a bit closer for you. So as I tighten this screw, it'll tighten up that leg because the wire will go with the screw. Now when I do this one, I want to hold it tight because I've got the both of those on the inside. So I'm just going to tighten it up while holding that one leg. Since I use my ohm meter as a base, I can just turn on my ohm meter, and I got a one ohm coil right there. I'm just going to twist off these, uh, these the excess from these legs here. Before I do this, I'm going to check to see if that coil didn't move around a little bit. I can stick the drill bit back in there and position it. And it looks like it stayed nice and tight. Let me see if I can. Zoom, zoom in and on that coil for you. It stayed pretty tight, but we'll fire it just to uh, just to make sure. to my Bernaya Hydra and Zorba, fire it up, and as you can see, it's glowing from the center out. Let me try to get a better picture of that. And it looks like it's coming out a little bit on the outside, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it until it glows. And then once it's glowing, I'm going to let go of the firing switch and squeeze it. So it looks like we're doing pretty good there. There we go. Alright, I'm going to take a chunk of cotton here. When you unroll a cotton ball, 
this ends up being about a quarter of the width of the unrolled piece, and I'll show you what I mean. Let me get a fresh piece of cotton. This is one unrolled cotton ball. I'd say maybe that's a quarter or a third of the width of that. You can see once I dress it up, it's uh, it's like that. Here is the piece that I am using. I'm going to take this, I'm going to twist the ends on it like so. Just pull it through. Now if you've got, if it, if it feels like it's binding, there's a couple things you can do. You can kind of pull some of it off like this, like you're brushing hair or something. Just pull some of it off this way. When you pull it through, grab close. If you grab out here, there's a good chance you'll just rip uh, rip the cotton. If you grab close, it'll go kind of easier. And you can also put your finger right on the uh, right on the coil if the coil starts moving by itself. So once you get some of it through, just snip off one end. end closest to the, uh, the side. And then with the rest of it, uh, depending on how much you, you, you want to use, you can shove a lot of it down in there or you can um, cut it real short. So if I'm testing different juices, I may cut it real close, like right here. Just put a couple drops on for uh, just to test the juice, and then I can rip out the cotton, dry burn it, put some new cotton in there. Uh, if I want to sit there and drip a juice, I'll cut it a bit longer. So I'll use this, uh, I'll probably drip on this today, so I'll cut it a bit longer, right about there. Tuck the rest down in there. Then I can put some juice on there. I think I will vape some deep fried cream cake by Hillbilly Brews that one of the forum members recommended. So this is what you want to do, you just want to make sure it's all saturated. This juice smells delicious. Make sure it's all saturated. You can put a couple drops down in the bottom. Now when you put the top on, I, I draw mouth to lung, so I don't do direct lung hits. And you can see here, um, if you see my drill bits, this is a 3 64ths hole that comes stock in the Igo L, roughly. It's probably metric. Um, and that works out well for me. If you draw directly to your lungs, you'll probably want to bore out the air hole, which is pretty simple if you have a vise. Uh, but stainless steel is very strong. They're, these drill bits are very small, so I recommend doing it incrementally. Go up uh, to the next larger size don't try to go straight to a larger size because it is very difficult to fill in the hole once you've drilled it. So when you're putting this together, you want to make sure that that air hole lines up directly with the coil. Like so. I'll give it a test fire. The juice on there, you can, so you can see. This is set at 8 watts. So it's not going to be putting off that much vapor. It takes a while to get heated up. And I'll have a vape. Not much, but I don't feel...
feel like turning up the uh, wattage. It is a process on the Winaya. So, if there's any questions, post in the comments, um, and hopefully this will be useful to some people.